What is happening, family? Hopefully, you are seeing some money being made in your portfolios. But today, we got a special one for you. This is it. Big Warren Buffett versus Michael Burry. We're going to discuss this. A lot of talk out there. You're seeing videos being made. You're seeing articles all over the web. And I'm going to tell you what. I don't even think this is even close to a matchup. Uh, we're going to discuss that, though. And there's been some speculation that we're in for possibly a stock market crash. And I'll give you my take on that as well. You might just be surprised. Now, before we get into all of it, of course, make sure you take advantage of this, the newest thing. This is brand new. And I'm not talking about the six stocks you get with Moomoo, the link down below, worth up to 15000 If you use my link today, you will be able to get, uh, what do we get? We get up to six. We get the six free stocks worth up to fifteen thousand, and then uh, on top of that, you will get an additional three stocks guaranteed. So now you're getting nine free stocks for depositing a hundred dollars. And this is anybody in the family. Make sure your parents, your wife, your wife or your husband, your kids, anybody eighteen or older, sign up for that account. Take advantage of this. This is an awesome opportunity. So now here it is. Michael Burry's hedge fund added one stock and dumped them all dump the rest now i've seen a lot of people talking about this and we've been discussing this guy for a long time i brought this up uh, a while ago that he was starting to move into the position that we are going to uh this is back when he had those apple puts we discussed that and i didn't believe that i actually see apple getting to 200 by summer of 2023 and obviously he went with the major puts on apple and we had Warren Buffett. His case is that he was bullish. Well, some things have changed since then, and we're going to discuss this. And the first thing is that Michael Burry, they basically dumped everything. They sold all their stocks. So what I decided to do is go out and do a little do a little homework for everyone. I went out there and I pulled up their, their 13F filings, all right, the forms, and we found out what's going on. So here's Q2. Here's Q2. This is a recent one they filed. They got rid of everything. The only thing they have right now, besides cash, is this, Geo, which is, a, I believe, a, a prison stock. And we're going to look at that as well. So I think it's private prisons. And you can take a look. But that they have, uh, what do we got here, $3 million worth of that stock. And the rest of the money is in cash. So I'll be interested in seeing what they're doing. But I wanted to go back in time a little bit. And so I pulled up their 13F form from q1 and this is uh this is what he owned through we'll say after q1 so you're looking at january february march and march 31st is what he had and then from april may and june the end of june he got rid of all of these with the exception uh, exception of geo and so here you can see the big thing right here and we got the put 200 and i believe 60 thousand shares put and so under other words uh that was worth about a 30 almost 36 million dollar uh position for apple to drop now we don't know exactly the price he got in at we don't know the price he got out at we don't know but i can tell you this looking at year to date and remember so on uh, march 31st we know that at some point on march 31st all the way back and we're going to go right here. Right here, he bought. So in this range, he got that. We don't know. You don't know if he bought it right before at the top or if he bought it in the middle, which most likely he bought somewhere in the middle here. So if he bought somewhere in the middle right here and we are trading at 172, uh, depending when he got rid of that in Q2, could have got rid of that anywhere. Let's see here. So March 31st. Could have got rid of that anywhere all the way up to the end of june and so he could have got rid of that right in here somewhere he could have got rid of it anywhere in here we just don't know so he could have made money on that if he bought here and remember it's march 14th but he sold somewhere in april he probably didn't make any money if he sold anywhere in april you just don't know and so anyways long story short this becomes the Warren Buffett versus uh, Michael Burry show. And I wanted to go over what Warren Buffett's doing. And for those that don't know, I absolutely believe this guy has proved that he is a master of stocks. 
I believe that 100%. I see a ton of people giving Michael Burry a lot of recognition, like everything he does is going to be gold. It's the golden touch. I kind of disagree. I don't believe that everything he's going to touch is going to be golden. Remember Tesla? Mm. So keep this in mind that when you hear of these guys that had a successful run, he killed it in real estate. Look, I'm one of his biggest fans when it came to that call. Man, that was awesome. 2008, 2009, 2007 through there, the real estate, uh, the, all those, those high risk mortgages where they had no income verification loans. He did his due diligence. He nailed it. He made a ton of money. I believe personally, I believe personally, going to check this out, but I believe it was around $100 million he made for himself personally, plus his business made hundreds of millions. So they did very good. And no question about that. Very well. If you want my English teaching wife is here, we'll, we'll say it the proper way. But here you go. Here's the big news. Warren Buffett, uh, Berkshire Hathaway, Boost Apple and their Amazon stake. This just recently came out. And I'm going to tell you something. They loaded the boat. And you can see this down here. We're going to get right into it. Uh, they have, check this out. Berkshire reported 10.7 million shares of Amazon, up from 130, or 534,000 uh, shares the, qu uh, the quarter before. So they basically added on 10 million shares of Amazon. I don't know about you. That's a lot. And then here, a whopping 895 million shares of Apple. I don't think they're joking around. This is up from 150 million shares. They increased by, well, 745 million shares. Now, you can go with Michael Burry and think, well, and I say this in past tense because he's no longer short. He's no longer short Apple. He's no longer short anything. But I think a lot of people are nervous seeing that he basically sold his entire portfolio with the exception of what? Well, Geo, Geo Group. And so after that report came out, this thing spiked up, then came back down to earth. And at this point, it was even. And then you're going to see a little bit of a rebound. Uh, a current P.E. ratio based on this, 15.97. Solid, a solid uh, value play there. And taking a look at the year to date, this stock is now up 1.78%. Uh, comparing that to the S&P 500, which we know the S&P 500 for the year is down roughly 10%. So it's doing well. We'll see how he does with that. And we'll see what kind of money they can make. But keep in mind, Berkshire Hathaway is no joke. You can just buy this and have Warren Buffett handle your money. I always joke with people. And we'll take a look at this. But you can invest into these companies and people always say, I wish Warren Buffett uh, was handling my money. You can have him handle your money. It's a very simple thing. And we're going to talk about what he had to do. I think he started with a thousand dollars back when he first started investing, had some people go in with him. And now look at him, tens of billions of dollars. This guy has done well. We're talking about Warren Buffett now. And so if you would like Warren Buffett to handle your money, all you got to do is buy some Berkshire Hathaway stock and you can buy BRK.A, which is this right here. And uh, you can see it right up here. And that's the symbol. You can go over to the places that allow you to buy fractional shares and then buy into this. Now, when you actually go out there and talk to people, the truth is, and this is the absolute truth. I am in with Warren Buffett. He is managing the, the investment money. And it's true, you, you're in his company, all right? And so that's a good thing. Uh, we can look a year to date. He's up 1.8%. He's crushing the S&P 500. Uh, we'll take a look at the last five years. We'll go a little longer. So 72% over the last five years. And uh, we'll take a look at the S&P 500 over the last five years, 77. So he's not beating the S&P 500 over the last five years. He is one of the people out there that I believe he had a million dollar bet that um, if uh, the, with the major fit, uh, the hedge funds, if they could outperform the S&P 500 with all their fees and everything else over a 10 year period, the loser would donate a million dollars uh, to a charity or something to that event. A lot of I, people don't like to take that bet because 80 to 90 percent of major hedge funds can't beat the S&P 500 after 
10 years, it's 80 to 90% of basically fund managers can't beat it because of the cost and everything else. Uh, the, the, the deal is when you take the S&P 500, you're basically taking the winner eight to nine times out of 10. And so the truth is, if you just buy into that, that's one of the safest ways to bet on the U.S. economy. Uh, and I believe and I absolutely do believe that'll continue to be true moving forward. Uh, now, recently, over the last few years, though, he has outperformed. When we got the five years. Obviously, he was just shortly, just a little bit behind. And so good things out there for those who want to follow that. But take a look at this. You want to know how much money he's made when he started? A hundred and one thousand percent up this is no joke he is pulling in big gains he's doing well he uses his value method and like he says he likes to buy these companies that have moats around them he's doing well now michael burry we know michael burry's done well and everybody knows him michael big short burry he's from the the big short movie that's what they made it about after he bet big against apple in q2 not knowing how much money he made or lost off of that yet uh, I'm sure we'll find that out down the road. And like I said, I pulled up the forms here. Now he's down to one position, Geo Group Inc. That is it. Michael Burry is basically cash, but now we won't get an update until the end of, until he reports his Q3, and then we'll see what moves he made. Did he go long? Did he go short? What is he going to do? At this point, we just don't know. Yeah, a lot of people always ask me, uh, you know, if you had to pick one, who are you going to pick, Mo? Who are you going to take if you got to pick one person to manage your fund? I don't even think this is a question. Look, Michael Burry nailed it when it came to the real estate. He made bank, but that was a real estate thing. And he was out there looking at the subprime mortgages and all that. This is the stock market, a little bit different. And he's dealing with Apple. He's dealing with some of these other companies you saw in his Q2, let's just pull that up again and take a look at what he was investing in. And you can see these companies right here, uh, Bristol Myers Squibb. I did like that one, uh, but he sold all of these. He got out of Google too. I absolutely love Google right now. He had Google as well. He had one put and the rest were all uh, long. And so, you know, seeing him short Apple, but long Google to me was kind of, uh, it was an interesting play. Because you kind of see them moving the same direction, but maybe he was shorting Apple. And my thought was this. He was shorting Apple because of the disruptions. And I'm not sure this is the reasoning behind it. But right now we knew that they had their factories in China and a lot of lockdowns were happening due to COVID. And that was affecting the supply chains, workers and everything. So to me, seeing this was a nice little hedge in case things went real south. And uh, you know what? He probably made a little bit. I don't know. We won't know until they release exactly if they made money or not. And we know there's a decay factor with those options. So interesting play. But my opinion, I'm going with old Buffett. I'm going with WB. And I believe Warren Buffett knows what they're talking about and why they loaded up. And if you'd like to follow along with that, you can see down there, they basically loaded the boat with Amazon and Apple. Got uh slowed down a little bit with Verizon, actually exited uh, their Verizon, and they, they lowered their General Motors, okay? So they're heavy right now, basically to Amazon and Apple. So some thought there to be had. And uh, of course, a lot of people out there here, you know, wondering what's going on. Here's another example. These are the portfolios, the YouTube portfolios. And of course, 2.66% up now. We dollar cost average since the beginning of the year, and you can see the market's down 10%, but yet we're up money. This is the power of dollar cost averaging. The conservative portfolio came back a little bit today. Why? Because the financials are finally starting to roll. I told you I feel good about that. The aggressive portfolio, 0.77. This thing just might beat the other ones by the end of the year. The crypto portfolio, 10.45% down. Crypto dropping from that 2000 mark. And the big one, the leverage one. You see the uh, semiconductors are down about 1% since I got in. And this is triple leverage. So, uh, But you can see we're making money with FAS and we're still up 11.6. And two, uh, two weeks and two days, we have made $3,500 off of a $30,000 investment. I have no complaints. If you can pull in 12% that quick, and remember, we just 
put this in here. Uh, if you actually look at the twenty thousand dollars, we actually made about thirty six to thirty seven or thirty uh, the twenty thousand. We made about thirty six to thirty seven hundred. No problems there. So no complaints. We'll continue to dollar cost average into this, and uh, we'll see how we make out. I think we're going to do very well. If you want to follow along, I do have down below. Okay, I have the Patreon link, and I have my portfolios over there. I have over a million dollars invested in crypto and stocks. Now you can follow along with that and just support the channel. I greatly appreciate it. We do have a private Discord for members only. And you can follow along with that. Now take advantage of the Moomoo link. I'm not joking about this family. Do not leave free money on the table. People don't understand. All you can do is put a hundred bucks in there using my link. You have to use my link. I can't tell you enough. If you don't, you don't get the extra three free shares of stock. And all you got to do is put a hundred dollars in. You're going to first get a shot up to 15,000 free stock, then three additional guaranteed shares of stock. And it could be worth a lot of money. So take advantage of that. Anybody in the house, all of you sign up the accounts, use the link below though. That's how you get the extra free shares of stock. I had to talk to them, get that set up for our channel. It's done now. So take advantage of this. We got that for the rest of August. So uh, take five minutes, make yourself a lot of money off hundred dollars. You might even end up making over hundred percent, depending on what kind of uh, stocks you get and stuff. I do have the Weeble link down below too. put a dollar in for that one and you get uh, up to 12 free shares of stock. And that's all I got for you today. Hope this was interesting. Let me know down below. Let me know if you had to follow Michael Burry or Warren Buffett, which one would you personally pick? And I get it. Maybe you want, uh, you know, we'll see. I'll just leave it at that. I don't, I don't want to uh, mess with the answers down below, but let me know which one, or if there's somebody else out there like Kathy Wood or somebody else, who would you want to follow and put your money behind? I'm actually curious. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.